Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been about a year since I posted my top 10 Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers and I wanted to make an updated version for you guys. Bath & Body Works recently had their dollar hand sanitizer sale and it was such a good sale so I had to go and I got a whole bunch so this is the haul that I'll be showing you guys for today. And then I bought a few for my friends because it was just such a good sale and they came out with their fall and winter scents so I'll be showing you guys those and I'll be ranking my top 10 for you guys. We'll start off with the purple. So I have the French Lavender. The soft lavender and then I have the fresh cut lilac. So I have two lavenders. I have the soft lavender which is a lighter purple and then I have the French lavender which is a darker purple. I personally like the aesthetic of the light purple more. I'm more of a neutral pastel color person so that's why this one speaks out to me. The soft lavender smells like a lavender with like a cologne spice to it and I didn't really know how to describe it but on the website it says it smells like a lavender and sandalwood and for me the French lavender smells like lavender with like a light scent of cologne like body wash cologne and on the website it says it smells like a lavender and amber. I prefer the soft lavender because I like the aesthetics more and I just like the smell a lot more in general. The next one I have is the fresh cut lilac. This is in a light purple packaging with like cute flowers on it. This literally smells like flowers flowers like when you go to Home Depot and you smell flowers or when you pass by a garden so that's why I think it would have a green aesthetic because when you think of a garden like you think of the color green well for me it does so I thought this would have green packaging to it but it's in a purple packaging the next two scents that I have are winter themed scents the first one is the winter berry ice and the next one that I have is the fresh sparkling snow the winter berry ice smells like a sweet cranberry and the fresh sparkling snow smells like a sweet melon and on the website it says it smells like melon pear and falling snow I'm pretty sure they just added the falling snow just for aesthetics because I don't think can smell snow. I'm not too sure. Don't take my word for that. Anyways, the next one that I have is called Sea Salt and Blue Skies. On the website it says it smells like blue sky, citrus, and sea salt. This one definitely smells like sea salt. The last one before I go into my top 10 is the Sunshine Mimosa. It's in this orange packaging, very bright. I really didn't know how to describe the scent for this one, but on the website it says this one smells like champagne and citrus. Now I'll be ranking the top 10 hand sanitizers that I bought from Bath & Body Works. The first one that I have is mahogany teakwood this will be number 10 for me this to me smells like abercrombie mixed with like a strong yankee candle scent on the website it says this one smells like mahogany dark oak and lavender the scent is perfect for winter because it's pretty strong and i feel like it's such a warm strong scent this was one of my favorite packagings and number nine i have the autumn rainfall it's in this light green color and the packaging on the front is so aesthetic it's like white background and then there's like leaves and like glitter it's so cute this one straight up smells like cologne i really like the scent personally their description of it was that it smells like alley bergamot and chamomile water i always thought bergamot was like a really strong scent because when i smell in candles at bath and body works when i just smell in general it's pretty strong but then i just googled it and apparently it's a citrus bergamot is good for reducing nerve sensitivity to pain and i also forgot to mention this about lavender but they're really good for bug bites like because it's like bug bite season since i woke up with so many bug bites i'm like scarred because i'm always itchy so i looked up up on google to see how to repel mosquitoes and lavender is one of the main things that will like repel mosquitoes so i have a bunch of lavender lotion and i use that whenever i get mosquito bites like after i get mosquito bites or when i know there's a mosquito in the house because my parents always tell me they hear buzzing i have lavender lotion i put that on and then i just spray my room with febreze and that really like repels them away from me so if you ever have bug bites i only have lavender or febreze or like a citrus lavender i think or like mint kind of lotion and that will repel them so that was my spiel on lavender definitely get lavender if you have bug problems in your house like i do this is my mom's number one favorite scent it's the japanese cherry blossom it's in this red like new year's asian new year's color this one smells like a sweet cherry blossom, mimosa petals, and sandalwood. I've actually never smelled cherry blossoms, but this is how I imagine it would smell like. Cucumber melon is number seven for me, and it smells exactly like cucumber melon. It's a very original scent. Bath & Body Works has always had this scent. I just changed the setting of my camera because I realized it didn't even focus on half of these. I honestly thought it focused, so apparently there's a difference between autofocus and manual focus. I wanted it to be darker, and I couldn't get my light to go darker, so I tried to get it darker in my camera, but that affected 
corrected the focus for when I show you guys the hand sanitizers. So I'm so sorry that I didn't focus on my previous hand sanitizers. But for the last six hand sanitizer, I'll be focused. And that's the most important because it's like top five. Next at number six, I have the sweater weather. Here is what the packaging looks like. It's in this forest aesthetic. It's in a light green color. I really like the aesthetics of this. This smells like fall apple, autumn leaves, and wood from the description on the website. I found a similar hand sanitizer to the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit that they retired. I'm so sad because that's honestly one of my favorite scents next to the cactus blossom. This is the rainbow passion fruit. This one says, be happy, be kind, be you. And this one is similar to the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. There's like a head of Hollister to it. Chris Morning Air is my number four. This is what it looks like. And to me, it smells like fresh apples by the ocean. So we're down to my top three. My number three is the Champagne Toast. This is also one of the popular scents at Bath & Body Works as well. This one smells like champagne, berries, and tangerine. This also has the cutest packaging next to the, what was it, the Autumn Rainfall. This is the pink peach blossom. This one smells exactly like peaches. My number one, if you already know, if you watch my previous videos, it's between the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and the Cactus Blossom. So this is the Cactus Blossom, my all-time favorite scent. I feel like I don't get tired of this or the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. This one smells like flower petals, vanilla, coconut, citrus. It's honestly so good. If it's on sale or you ever get a chance to try it, I promise you it's so good. A lot of people like it as well. All my friends like it. They like this and the Champagne Toast. That's my top 10 ranking for the hand sanitizers that I bought from their sale. If you missed the sale, don't worry. They have a bunch more. I think I just did the dollar hand sanitizer day like a few weeks ago. So they definitely have a bunch of sales. Just sign up for their mailing list. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't watched my previous top 10 Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers video, don't forget to watch that. I'll link it in my description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.